I can understand spoken English, but I can't speak. Have you ever said it to yourself? There are something you can do in order to English speaking skills so that you will not just understand it but can speak English as well. There are some problems English learners have that prevent them from speaking English fluently. Problem number one, you are watching and listening only, but you are not implementing or using those things whatever you have already watched or you have already listened. If you will use, then it will be easy for you to communicate with the people. So whatever you are watching, you should implement in your conversation, in your practice. Problem number two, fear. Due to fear, you are unable to convey your message. So that uh, somewhere in your mind that if I will make mistake, then people will judge me. So throw your fear. So due to fear, you are unable to express your thoughts. Problem number three, you don't have bunch of vocabularies. That is why you are not framing your sentence in correct way. Problem number four, you do have good command over vocabularies, but you are not able to use those vocabularies properly. And problem number five, grammar mistake. You do have fallacious thought that if I will make mistake about my grammar, then my sentence will look like horrible. So these are the five bottleneck issue that is why we are unable to hone our communication skills and spoken English. So now we will discuss about one by one how we can overcome these five issues. As you already know that we are worried about our uh, spoken English communication skills. But if you will practice regular basis then you will feel the least bother. You must have heard about one idiom that don't cry over spilled milk. It means you should not think about your past. Whatever had to happen, has happened. If you will think about your past, then you will miss the boat or you will face the music. So you should not think about your past. You should think about the present and future. So watch moral boosting videos. You are in pinnacle of spoken English so that if you will watch regular basis, if you will practice regular basis, then it will be easy for you to grab this language. Okay. So also let me tell you one thing that um, as you have already heard about one particular word, impossible. There is no thing. Okay such kind of word in our dictionary because I am going to tell you one thing that uh, even impossible itself says that I am possible okay impossible itself says that I am possible so why we are worried about it don't think about just you have to practice so uh, now coming to the point that um, like you are watching and listening only okay it it's okay that if you are watching and listening english related contents video but the problem is that you are not using those things whatever you are watching or listening so after listening after watching if you will use in your sentences in your practice then you will see the result because if you will use then automatically the sentence will come out from your mouth so whatever you are watching, whatever you are listening, after listening, after watching, you should implement those things in your practice, my dear all friends. Okay. Because you must have observed that, like if you will watch, if you will listen, then your listening and like um, por uh, portion will be improved, but not your spoken English. So open your mouth. Okay. That is the main problem. So until and unless if you will not open your mouth then you will not improve your communication skills spoken English okay because listening and watching English related contents video is good because if you will not watch if you will not listen 
then how you will like observe the contents observe the sentence if you watch if you listen then all sentence will be stored in your mind and after that if you will use then automatically it will come out okay so listening and watching is good my dear all friends listen more and more and watch watching also good but after listening after watching you should implement those things okay and second point is that fear okay we are afraid to speak english because of being judged by people this is the main problem my dear all friends we should not fear we should throw the fear okay everyone makes mistakes as i have already told you in my previous video and also uh, you are watching on youtube uh, youtube videos that due to fear like most of the people um, they are unable to convey their message even though they do good they do have good command over spoken english but due to fear they are unable to express their message so you should throw your fear and like express your thought definitely you will be a good english speaker so due to fear we are facing this kind of problem so you should not think about your fear throw your fear and my third point is that you don't have bunch of vocabularies okay my dear all friends let me tell you one thing over here that it's okay that even you even without using uh, vocabularies uh, we can convey our message but if you don't have a uh, simple vocabularies i am telling you that i am not telling you that fancy words okay i am telling you just simple simple vocabularies if you do have good command over simple vocabularies then you will easily convey your message so try to learn simple vocabularies and one thing uh, i would like to tell you that whenever you are picking off any vocabularies try to pick uh, vocabularies in context you should not pick out uh, only words you should pick out with sentences then it will be easy for you to speak so whenever you are noticing any new word then you should not write down all those words try to grab those words which are uh, like daily use words which are using for daily basis okay and my fourth point is that you do have good command over vocabularies but you are unable to use in your conversation in your sentences yes it is a very complicated task even i am facing and not only you not only me but also everyone who are willing to improve their spoken english they are facing this issue because it is really very a hard task to retrieve those vocabularies in your sentences but yes let me tell you one perfect way to overcome this issue that whenever you are remembering any new word try to use those words in your practice my dear old friends before using those words in your conversation try to practice with the help of those words in your written english you should send with the help of those vocabularies to your friends you should uh, try to uh, write it write it down uh, so many messages with the help of those vocabularies and also you will practice with the help of those vocabularies by using your mobile phone definitely you will be familiar with those words and until and unless if you will not familiar with those words then the word will not come out from your mouth so practice a lot definitely you will get the result and problem number 5 grammar mistake okay yes people they do have good uh, they do have fallacious thought because they are thinking that if i if we will make mistake about grammar then people will judge me there is no such kind of issue my dear all friends without using proper grammar you can also talk with the people okay grammar is not playing a vital role in our spoken english yes when it comes to written english at that time it is mandatory but not in spoken english just you have to learn basic grammar rules it will be okay for you and there is no need to learn advanced grammar or advanced structure okay it's up to you that if you will learn then it's okay but in spoken english there is nothing to worry about grammar my dear all friends even without using proper grammar you can speak english fluently 
सो प्रैक्टिस 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 बेहमेंटली माई डियर और फ्रेंड्स डेफिनेटली यू विल सी द रिजल्ट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट आई होप दैट दिस वीडियो विल हेल्पफुल फॉर यू एंड इफ यू लाइक दैन प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब यू यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन सो थैंक यू माई डियर ऑल फ्रेंड्स थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो 